probably heard the term conventional loan on the news or read about it online, but what is a conventional loan? A conventional home loan is also called a conforming loan. This type of loan meets the requirements for Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are government-sponsored enterprises that purchase mortgages from lenders and sell them to investors. In this video, we are going to share what you need to know about qualifying for a conventional home loan. There are several different sets of guidelines that fall under the umbrella of conventional home loans. In general, conventional loans have stricter credit requirements than government-backed loans like FHA loans. It's possible for a first-time home buyer to get a conventional mortgage with a down payment as low as 3%. However, the down payment requirement can vary based on your personal situation and the type of loan or property you're getting. If you're not a first-time homebuyer or making no more than 80% of the median income in your area, the down payment requirement is 5%. If the house you're buying is not a single family home, for example, it has more than one unit, you may need to put down 15%. If you're refinancing a conventional loan, you'll need more than 3% equity. In all cases, you need at least 5% equity. If you're doing a cash out refinance, you'll need to have at least 20% equity in the home. If you put less than 20% down on a conventional loan, you'll be required to pay for private mortgage insurance or PMI. PMI protects your mortgage investors in case you default on your loan. The cost for PMI varies based on your loan type, your credit score, and the size of your down payment. PMI is usually paid as part of your monthly mortgage payment, but there are other ways to cover the cost as well. Some buyers pay it as an upfront fee included in their closing costs. Others pay it in the form of a slightly higher interest rate. Choosing how to pay for PMI is a matter of running the numbers to figure out which option is the best for you. The nice thing about PMI is that it won't be part of your loan forever. That means you won't have to refinance to get rid of it. When you reach 20% equity in the home or your regular mortgage payment schedule, you can ask your lender to remove the PMI from your mortgage payments. If you reach 20% equity as a result of your home increase in value, you can contact your lender for a new appraisal so they can use the new value to recalculate your PMI requirement. Once you reach 22% equity in the home, your lender will automatically remove PMI from your loan. So what other requirements do you need to be aware of? In most cases, you'll need a credit score of at least 620 to qualify for a conventional loan. Your debt to income ratio is also a factor. It is a percentage that represents how much of your monthly income goes to pay off debt. For most conventional loans, your DTI must be 50% or lower. The loan size is also important. For a conforming conventional loan, your loan must fall within the loan limits set by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. The loan limit changes annually. There are exceptions, however. Alaska, Hawaii, and other high-cost areas of the country have higher loan limits. To see loan limits for your area, visit the Federal Housing Finance Agency website. So what are rates for a conventional mortgage? Interest rates for a conventional mortgage change daily. Conventional mortgage interest rates are usually slightly lower than FHA loan interest rates and slightly higher than VA loan interest rates. However, the actual interest rate you get will be based on your personal situation. The bottom line is conventional loans generally offer lower costs than other loan types. And if you meet credit score requirements and want a down payment of as low as 3%, a conventional mortgage might be the best solution for you. To find out what types of financing you qualify for, talk to a licensed mortgage professional who can help you decide which one works for your situation. Thanks for watching. We are here to answer your questions and help you through the process. You can reach us online at www.westportmortgage.com. We look forward to working with you.